Hi, today I'm installing Toe Kick. Let's give it a kick. I'm trying to finish up the kitchen. My wife is an excellent cook, so I'm putting the toe kick up, which is almost the last part of the kitchen here. I'm uh, taking the paneling that I found that came with these cabinets and I've cut it down to toe kick and I'm putting construction adhesive on here to get it to stick on there and I'm using my favorite new tool after that which is a pin nailer which shoots these teeny tiny little nails the size of pins. Now onto the area in front of, let me think, this is in front of the uh, kitchen sink. This was a long piece that I had to rip and uh, need to get this on there and of course throw some construction adhesive on there and nail this up as well. It's the winter time here at Bonaire. Um, this used to be an old plantation house and this kitchen was added on probably back in the 30s I'm thinking because originally when the house was started in 1798 there was an English kitchen in the basement and that's where all the cooking was done for um, 150 years. So they added this porch on and eventually they put a kitchen and changed and uh, enclose the porch into a kitchen on the right hand side of the house. So um, yeah, cooking over an open hearth is cool and everything uh, for, you know, if you're trying to do the whole recreation of the, or recreation of the colonial times. And on the back of the uh, kitchen, there's a porch that stands about, I don't know, 10 feet up above. And I'm ripping some of the toe kick to put in the kitchen here. I'm standing the ends of the toe kick so that when it's exposed it'll have that dark cherry look and not just raw wood on the ends. As you can see these are old cabinets and uh, the old parts of the cabin underneath are cut and open in a couple of places, but man, we saved probably $30,000 because we got all these cabinets for free. Somebody was uh, tearing them out of a house, a friend of a friend, and they asked if we wanted them, and we said, yes! Here I'm using a multi-tool that vibrates. I don't know why they just don't call it a vibrator, but it vibrates and has a blade on the end of it. And it's really nifty for cutting out areas um, that you can't get a saw into. The toe kick is finished. Take a look. Got it all done. I've stained the ends. I found some more cherry and put it on the back of this cabinet. Installed some small baseboard right here 
and around here and down here and last but not least down here we did all of this with, with cabinets that somebody was pulling out of a house that they were remodeling went ahead and put the end panel over on this one here and also on this one here my wife went ahead and stained these legs and installed these came out pretty good what do you think thank you for watching if you like what you've seen please like and subscribe to follow our journey